Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I am starting to get a little bit sick, which means I won't be able to do a bunch of talking because my throat hurts a little bit and my nose is runny a little bit. So for today, I think I want to just go do some vaults. Just have some fun, chill in some vaults, do some good things, find some dungeons possibly, find some stuff, and just level up as much as we possibly can. So first of all, I'm going to eat the burgers, which is going to get us to level 85. With level 85, we get another expertise point, which is immediately going into the trinketer. So now we're going to save the maximum amount, which is 30% of the trinkets. So basically every trinket with 30 uses should have 40 uses now, which is uh, really, really good. We also get one more skill point, and I think just Storm Arrow right away. And we have four Archon and four Storm Arrow, and we're living the dream right now. I think it's pretty good. We're going to make another crystal if it's not too difficult to make. We just need some cows, and there we go, crystal is complete. We will hunt the guardians, so let's go. Hey, a pillar, hello pillar. Oh, we have snapping turtles. Maybe turn on our archon. Nice. Well, let's just, let's just kill them. Yeah, storm arrow, do your thing. There we go. <laughs> Easy as pie. It uses up all of our mana, but that's totally fine. Champion. Bye, champ. Thank you for the epic helmet. There's pillar number two, and I intentionally spawned a horde mob. So we get a bunch of poison over Prokken. Oh, it didn't reach these guys, though. But... Get Archon. Ooh, we're out of mana. Hold on. Mana regen. There we go. Got him. There's one more. Oh, he's down there. That's totally fine. Hello, friend. There we go. Easy as pie. Oh, hello. I didn't even use Hunter. Get Storm Arrow as well. There we go. We have a 42% Idona Affinity Charm, and this is an Idona Altar. I gotta do it. Wooden chest. That's very doable. I have done two altars yesterday in vaults that I didn't record. Because it was the evening time, and I wanted to just chill, and I ran some vaults with a patron of mine. This guy, actually. <laughs> so, uh, I completed two altars and got two reputation points for Idona, which was really good. Those will help us with the... With the divinity thingy altar doohickey that we messed up a couple episodes ago, or a bunch of episodes ago now, actually. Hey, and there's a dungeon as well in this room. I'm gonna kind of mark around the dungeon so we know, and it is a normal difficulty. Okay, we can do that later, I think. So let's go see about finding another 40-something wooden chests. Actually, 30-something. Oh, really? X mark? We'll, we'll come back to it later. I don't have time. I have nine minutes. Let's go wooden chests. Wooden chests. Hello. Three more chests to go and three minutes. I think we should be good, because at the top here, there should probably be wooden chests. Somewhere. Oh, and there's a pylon. Lovely. There we go. I don't us favor. Did we get a... We got a reputation point as well. I got a thing on camera. So good. 
So basically, that's what happened yesterday. Twice. There we go. Oh god, that's a Piglin champion. Okay. We got him. Think we're okay to pop this? Oh, I don't have... I don't have mana. Storm arrow, maybe? Hello, friends. There we go. With the Adonis favor, you gain 50 damage and 50 ability power. So it's just pretty good. Right, now I think we can... We need to find just one. We have 11 minutes. I'm gonna loop back to that Xmark room and that dungeon that we had. I wanna get that done as well. And of course, this is going to be a waste of time, because this is going to be bad, or it could not be a waste of time, and it can be amazing. And I'm kind of just permanently poisoned. It's amazing! I'm just permanently poisoned. Um, I think that might have been a bug. I'm just permanently poisoned, but my poison avoidance is not doing any damage, or it's avoiding all the damage. Okay. Here is our dungeon. Oh, it's gilded. Okay, that's fine. Why oh, shouldn't have used Storm Arrow? Whoops. We don't have it for the champion now. That's fine. Like, that seriously shouldn't be in the game. But, use it until they remove it, I guess. And now, instead of just going forward through the same rooms, we're just gonna turn to the side. Because we complete the vault by completing the last objective anyway, so we just need to find one pillar and we should be good. This might be it. Are you a pillar? You are a pillar. We pillage. Village and pillage. Let's just finish the vault. Why not? Toss some storm arrow right here. There we go. Vault complete. Nice. Let's see if there's any good gear. Ooh, Omega Helmet. Okay. Oh, this could be worth re-rolling. Oh, it will. We will re-roll this. Okay, first of all, we need Soulbound and Ability Power. And we have five tries to get that first. Got Ability Power. Ability Power, Soulbound. It's a low roll and a mid roll for armor. Very high durability though, so I will take it. How much do we... If we lose... 4 ability power? By changing? I think that's okay. Now, we don't need the trap disarm, nor do we need the soul chance. So let's see if we can remove something good from there. Oh, there goes the mana. Okay, time to reforge everything. Do we want to do with the mana regen thing? We have one more faceted focus for mana regen. Let's see. That is actually not bad. We do need the poison avoidance. I don't know if we're gonna have 100%. Hold on. We have 40% on our boots. And we have 64 on the chest plate. Yeah, we don't need it on the helmet. Actually. But it's okay that we got it, I guess. We could have something else, but that's fine. Ooh, our ability power does go down quite a bit because we don't have uh, the 14% in increased ability power that is on this helmet as well. Ooh, um, I can craft on 11% max. We would gain quite a bit of regen and extra mana. 
and cooldown reduction. I think it's best if we do this. Yeah, I'm going to craft on the ability power. 11%, that's the max that we can roll. So now our ability power goes from 204 to 194. So we lose 10. That is totally fine. We gain a bunch of armor. We gain a bunch of mana as well. We lose 10 health, which is fine. And we gain 1% of defense. I think I'm okay with that. Let us also pop the crate. And maybe there's something really good. Ooh, there's a hammering jewel, which is nice. And there's a couple gear pieces. Just scrap, basically. So let's uh, just go again. I just want to run vaults today. We're just going to see if we can craft the next one. Nice. We sadly are very close to completing one of our bounties. The other one is going to get us three echo gems, and we just need to find ore rooms. So maybe, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a seal of the sage, and we're just going to go elixir rush, and just do everything and look for ore rooms, basically. So we don't have to focus on the other objectives, per se. So, yeah. Let's just go. If it's not an ore room, I'm not gonna stay inside of it until I complete my bounties. So we're just gonna move on. Well, this is a village thing. Oh, which one is this? I forget. You can tell by the sky which one it is. I think this might be living chests. Let's go see. Oh no, it's ornates. Yeah, I will take this though. And of course, our Archon, every time you run a vault, it just turns off for some reason, which is super wonky. And it doesn't work, and you have to turn it off and on again, so I will fight mobs manually if need be. Okay, and now we can turn on our Archon. Okay. I just love Poison Nova. You can just pop it through walls and just watch everything die, pretty much. Super neat. Hey, Trinket! Nice! That's why you always come to these types of rooms. I didn't find an ore room yet, but I found a dungeon, and it's normal difficulty again. And it's this one again. Okay, that's totally doable. And it's coin piles. I like the coin piles. Come on, archive. I'm spawning the champion. I champ. I champ. Archive, archive. Okay, we don't need trap disarm. I will take the five to six armor for the leggings. I think that's good. And there is an ore room, and by an ore room, I mean crystal caves. I will totally take this, even though it's kind of dangerous. Especially if, like, three champions spawn in there. <laughs> Just kite them around. There we go. I need black opal, and I need Laramar. And I don't know if both of these spawn in here. But, I mean, I'll take the ores, I guess, anyway. I see a champ. He did? Somewhere? Oh, that was Echo. Hey, Echo. Nice. Hey, Black Opal. There we go. We need one more. Hey, Bounty complete at least. Nice. Oh, that's a tier 3 Cooper, and I killed him with my Shatterer. <laughs> and pros possibly other things. Kill Horde Mobs. That is doable. 130 something. And you know what I find after that? An ore room. Of course I do. Come on, give me the horde mobs. There they are. More horde mobs. Lovely. A trident guy. 
and you die. Thank you. I think that's it for this room, so let's keep on going. And now I'm just gonna do any room that I get. Because I just need to spawn in a bunch of mobs. We're halfway done-ish. Well, we're actually halfway done with the, with the altar. Super easy. Come on, horde mobs. That's not horde mobs. Horde mobs. That is again not horde mobs. Oh, come on, and then it's just like two piglin archers. This was just like an, an assassin room. Get nova everybody. Oh, these are horde mobs. Where did you guys come from? I think it's time to leave before I die. Hello, horde mobs. Get poisoned. More horde mobs, lovely. Oh, there's like a champion archer guy. Okay, everybody's dead. Horde mobs? Yay, horde mobs. Not a lot of them. I will take the ornate chests, though. Come on, be nice to me, game. No, not tank mobs. Horde mobs. Those are not horde mobs. Come on. Yay, horde mobs. Hey, we did it. We did it. And we'll do these ornates. All right. Now I just need to go find a thingy. I mean, I have this compass pointed to a thing, but I think it's easier if we just go to a room close by. I just need kiwis. There is possibly one up here. That's another altar. There's lots of living chests. We don't have time. Oh, come on, please be a thing. It is a thing. Okay, cool. did it. Okay, cool. Did we get another thing? I don't think we got a reputation point. I had two from yesterday and we got one previous one. Okay. Nice. We completed one of our two bounties. The other one, we needed another 10 Larabar ore. And we will do this one. We will submit 402 chromatic iron for two echo. There we go. We can now pop these. And pop the crate. No artifact, no trinket. We did get that trinket. And we got six echo total from all of the bounties. And I think we got a couple in the vaults as well. A secondary vendor's hourglass with 30 uses. Okay. These will be useful for running custom vaults later on, I think. We have so many uses on these as well. I'm gonna go run more vaults and have some more fun. I have just been enjoying my time. I think that might be an issue. <laughs> One coral. Okay, I think Reese has coral in botany pots. Coral. I need, I think, coral fans, which are these. There we go. Oh, it's any coral, I think. This time I put Math's doll on, and he is online right now, so we could potentially toss the doll after the vault, but let's just go again. I can't say no to an ornate POI, you know. Ooh, ornate chests are quite a bit of elixir for this vault. <laughs> I mined a chest with my sword accidentally. Ooh, I don't alter. Tank mobs. How many? Nine. That is doable. I think that one might count as a tank mob. No, it does not. Okay. Oh, there was one tank mob. Ooh, which one was it? I don't know which one counts. I know the, mu the there's like the mummy guys. They those are tank mobs. I will tell you when I sh when I see them. Okay, so the the scarab guys are also tanks. Okay. Cool. Yeah, those guys, those are tanks. Hey, tanks. Yep. Hey, there we go. It was easy this time, and you gained the same favor. Hey, or POIs, lovely.
Bounty complete. Lovely. Oh, come on. <laughs> I gotta show this clip. A champion just spawned from this POI, and I was like, I'm not gonna click the altar. I don't want to do it. Three minutes left, and it's kill one champion. <sighs> not. I'm just gonna finish it. It's down here somewhere. It's two minutes left. I don't feel like greeting. Oh no, dungeon, really? Ten seconds. Give me all the chests. Well, I got a bit. <laughs> oh, come on. I could have done that entire dungeon. Ah. Uh, was hidden in the corners. Could have had an archive. <sighs> Sadness. But it happens sometimes that way. We got our Larimer bounty complete, so we get another three Echo Gems. Nice. Ooh, yay, we got the Mushroom Cap. That's an Omega Helmet. When it's not a bad Omega Helmet. But now we can be a full Mushroom Dude, I think. I might not have the backpack, though, but I have to check. I have the boots. I have the pants. I do not have the chest plate. Okay, so we're so close to having the full set. We just need the, the, the chest plate to go with it. Okay. We have 99 Echo Gems, and I think it's time we spend them on some treasure keys. Because getting treasure chests opened is just going to get us more resources more special foci, possibly more trinkets as well. So let's make four treasure keys. I think that's good. We have a ton of these key pieces. We can make a Gorgonite cluster. Then we'll make a Sparkle Teen cluster. We'll do a Bombing Knight and Pizza Knight. There we go, we have four keys now. And I believe you just do this in an anvil. <laughs> Each one of the keys is 8 gold, so we now, <laughs> if we die, we're back at 100 gold per death. But better this than dying with gear that is not soul bound. so I think uh, we're good. I have another crystal ready, and we're gonna be on the lookout for Gorge Knight, Sparkle Teen, Bombing Knight, and Pizza Knight doors, and see if we can find some treasure rooms as well. And I'm hoping this vault gets us to the next level. I think it should. 85. If not, we can craft some burgers. Oh, looter's gym. It doesn't really matter because our tool is 100% trap disarm. But chests cannot be trapped. Yay. And it's an elixir. So just do all the things again. Nice. And our bounties are just to kill mobs. It's tank mobs and I think assassins or dwellers or something or another. But it's easy enough that we just do anything we want and get the vault done. Hey, or room, first room. Archon thing again, I always forget. Okay, so that is, I, I, I don't know if that's like a bug or what, what's the case with this? I don't like this. Well, at least Nova. Oh, hello dungeon. Normal skeleton. We will do that as well. I'll just do that right now. What are you? Oh, it's this one and it's uh, coin piles. Super easy. Spawn in all the mobs. We'll pop some storm arrow. <laughs> and things are dead. Okay, easy enough. Hey, another dungeon. Impossible difficulty. Okay. These guys might hurt. I think we can we can enter inside. Yeah, that's fine. And here's where the mobs will spawn. Let's turn on Archon. And we can do that. Ow, 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 ow. Well, get poisoned then. Actually, get storm arrowed. Oh, he hurts. He does range attacks. 
he ever gonna die? <laughs> He's almost dead. No! How? Why did I do impossible dungeons? And it's the vault that I take treasure keys in. He was so close to being dead, I should have just waited. I should have waited. I think he meleeed and ranged me at the same time, possibly. Well, it happens. At least everything is so bound. And it was ornate as well. Where's my elevator? Okay, fine game. <sighs> that would have been so good. Such good loot. Well, and we were one tank mob off of completing the bounty. Okay, that's fine. It's Murphy's Law, is what it is. You decide to put in, to bring in treasure keys, because you're not dying, run 10 vaults without deaths, and you put bring in treasure keys, and then you die, and you have to pay another extra 50 gold. <laughs> so, whoopsies. Well, we have another 200 in here that I'm kind of sort of keeping on the backlog, so that is totally fine. Uh, let us delute, de and let's just try again. In the meantime, let's get a crystal crafted. I just turned on my Archon before the vault, and let's see if it's gonna work. On the top right, it doesn't look like it's on, so I have to turn it off and turn it on again. So if you have Archon before you enter a vault, it turns it off, which is super wonky. And we have another Elixir vault, so it should be fine. The same thing as we did before. It's super easy and nice. There's another treasure door. Sparkle Teen, that one we do have. Lovely. Sparkle Teen key. Treasure room, nice. I think we have to open it with this, right? So we get more treasure stuff. Omega boots, lots of good jewels. Mode of sanctity, no trinket though. A knowledge star as well, so that's super good. Let's toss all of this in here. And then we also have some treasure sand in, in, in the mix of this. Nice. That is a pizza night door. That is, I think, what we also have. Yep. Hey, two opportunistic foci, that's super good. And an artifact fragment. Awesome. Is this a pirate cove? This is a pirate cove. Well, coins galore. That is a redemption for uh, my death, apparently. I get all the coins back. Well, a lot of them, at least. we're done pretty sure we got most of the coins if not all 2,000 bronze not bad and we have a library okay well I'm spending seven minutes in here or however much it takes me to loot this that's two Omega rooms in one vault that's insane well math is gonna have a insane doll to pop I think and I found two treasure rooms as well. We got it all. Quite a few jewels. So we're gonna look at those after the vault. And we still have four minutes left, so we can do possibly another room. Plus, we need to find a lodestone as well. Well, that we don't need to do. It's right there. We'll do this room and then complete the vault. Easy peasy. Also, the coolest thing, you see all these mobs? Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, more, more mobs. Make me more mobs. There you go. And more mobs. And more mobs. All of the mobs. Let's pop poison over now. Um, things are dead. <laughs> oh, Poison Nova is just super fun. I think it's more fun than Archon. Archon feels like too OP. It's just too easy in terms of 
how the mobs die. It requires very little work. In a turn, it does have quite a few prerequisites. Like, I need to be running the crystal ball. Without the crystal ball, this build doesn't work at all. So if that runs out and I don't get another one, or I don't craft another one, I just can't run this build. So maybe by the time our crystal ball runs out, we can look at having a different build, possibly. Or maybe we go back to Frost Nova, the chilling thing, which I did thoroughly enjoy as well. Oh, come. Ooh, that reset my jump, actually. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall off. I did not. Alright, we have a minute and 50. Do we wanna go greed? Let's mark the compass here. Let's go this way. I mean, if we're getting a mega vault, let's get a mega vault. Hey, we have a lodestone here as well. And an Idona Altar, what are you gonna be? Dweller Mobs, 40. I don't think I can get that done in, in a minute. <laughs> Especially if I'm gonna be looting, but you know. It's not, there's no point in not clicking it. I think if it was Horde or Assassin Mobs, I think I might be able to do it, because Assassins in this vault is the Slimes, which are super easy to get down there. 10 seconds. Come on. Nice. I didn't even have to grab a kiwi. Wonderful. Let's pop the crate. We also completed both the bounties, so that is super good. And also a bunch of gear before that, so... Ooh, bone dragon boots. That's the ones that we didn't have. No way. 32% legendary item rarity on them. And 40% crit hit resistance, and they're soul bound. Okay, and increased attack damage, increased armor, in I think they have just everything I would want. I think ice is turning to be uh, a thing. <laughs> Accidentally, I typed ice one time, I think, when I tried to type nice, and now everybody's saying ice instead of nice. I could just craft mana region on them. Okay, these are going in this special chest. I have uh, kind of reorganized all of our gear. We put rare gear that we want to keep, epic gear that we kind of want to keep, and omega gear that we want to keep in here. It's color-coded and it's nice. And I just don't keep common or scrappy items even. Uh, scrappy is really not worth it, and common is only worth it if it has a legendary modifier that would give you like a super ability. We also got an epic helmet that I'm gonna keep if we need to re-roll it if our helmet dies or something, but for now, I think these... These are pretty good for our build with Frost Nova. They have the increased attack damage, which I do want. The item rarity is just amazing, even though it's a low roll of the legendary one, it's 32%, it's insane. And 9% cooldown reduction still helps with the Frost Nova, and all I would want on this is as high mana regen as I possibly can craft on it, and then they're pretty good. I've been having so much fun playing on the server doing this series, and I'm really hoping that you are enjoying it. If you are, please make sure to smash the like button, and you can also subscribe to get regular updates of when new videos go live, and an even bigger thing, you can support me on Patreon or become a YouTube member to join me on this very server, and you can play with me and run vaults and have fun. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.